The events of Season 3 take place after the finale of Season 2. We see Homelander and the members of the Seven at the premiere for The Dawn of the Seven, which is a movie that had become a blockbuster in the whole universe, and Stormfront is made out to be the villain of that movie, though Homelander still loves her. The boys and Homelander seem to be on a temporary truce since the boys might end up leaking the footage of Homelander crashing the plane. It turns out that Butcher and the boys work for Huey in the Office of Super Fairs, where they do missions under the guidance of Huey and Victoria Newman. So the boys then go on a mission to a party where we see what would have happened had Am and Ashley flew up Thanos' butt. Ryan is now living with Grace Mallory, hidden away from Homelander, and Butcher is looking after Ryan like a father. I really hope this lasts. Homelander is annoyed at the fact that he keeps having to apologise and gets overshadowed by all the other members of the Seven, mainly because of his relationship with Stormfront. He has fallen so low that the Deep gets an interview slot for him, which is like the lowest of the low. Stan Edgar then introduces Vought's new product, Temp V, which is supposed to give any human the ability to turn into a soup for 24 hours. He also plans to make Vought less about the superheroes and more about the Compound V and other pharmaceuticals. MM then attends his daughter's birthday party where we are introduced to MM's ex-wife's new boyfriend Todd and he becomes a really important pain in the ass later down the line. Starlight is now made as the co-captain of the Seven, shocking Homelander who's already vexed that he keeps getting overshadowed. However, Starlight is unsure about the post, especially as she doesn't want to make Homelander mad. Meanwhile, Vought is running a reality TV show where we are now introduced to Supersonic who is Starlight's ex and is also a top contender in joining the Seven. And both him and Starlight are quite close with each other, making Huey jealous. Starlight then asks Huey's opinion about becoming co-captain and he seems hesitant as he is worried that Homelander might snap and kill her. But Annie decides on becoming the co-captain anyway since she wants to be a role model to millions of people. Homelander then fat shames A-Train since he can't run anymore and is still consuming the same amount of calories. Queen Maeve and Butcher have this secret arrangement where they boink and then she hands him information about beating Homelander and she tells him of a weapon capable of killing soups and perhaps even Homelander. And this weapon was used to kill Soldier Boy and he was part of a group called Payback who might know where to find this weapon. Huey then finds out that Newman is the head popping soup and is once again covered in blood. Huey then tells Starlight the truth about Newman and the two decide to look further into Newman's past. Stormfront is apparently still alive and in a hospital bed. Butcher then talks to MM about Soldier Boy which triggers MM and he begins swearing and breaking down in front of his daughter. This is because Soldier Boy had killed MM's father years ago and Butcher guarantees that MM will get the chance to get revenge. Frenchie and Kamiko then head to a vault theme park in search of Crimson Countess who is Soldier Boy's teammate and lover. They interrogate her about the death of Soldier Boy and she says that he died a heroic sacrifice and accidentally kills a bystander. Huey then goes to the Red River Institute to find out the truth about Newman and he learns that she had accidentally killed her parents as a kid and was adopted by Stan Edgar as his own daughter. We also find out that Newman herself has a daughter. Butcher then goes to meet Gunpowder, Soldier Boy's psychic and interrogates him about the true cause of Soldier Boy's death but he refuses to answer. The two then meet in a parking lot and Butcher has taken some temp V and beats the crap out of Gunpowder who reveals that Soldier Boy had died in Nicaragua in 1984 and they were working a case with Mallory and Butcher then laserized Gunpowder killing him. Homelander then tries to talk a girl out of jumping off a bridge but then sees the news that Stormfront had died by unaliving herself and then Homelander switches and tells the girl to jump off herself but she doesn't want to so he forces her to. A-Train has now rebranded but Vought doesn't like it. Then at Homelander's birthday celebration Starlight says that Homelander will donate money to charity and that does it. Homelander finally snaps and he talks about how he's better than everyone and he's a god and he doesn't make mistakes. It turns out that Homelander's rant had given him immense popularity as he has fans that think he's confident and unapologetic and this puts him higher in the rankings once again. Huey had told Billy the truth about Newman and the boys decide that shifting Ryan has to be the safest option for Ryan and Huey rejoins the boys but breaks his arm so that Newman won't get suspicious over him disappearing for months. Starlight then tells Supersonic the truth about Homelander and about how he's an unhinged maniac and if Supersonic joins the Seven, he's in great danger. Butcher and the boys interrogate Mallory about her connection to Soldier Boy, whilst Kamiko plays with Ryan. It turns out that Mallory was stationed at a camp in Nicaragua where a young Stan Edgar meets with her to introduce her to Payback. This mission is supposedly a trial run for soups in the military. The base where Mallory and Payback were at was ambushed, severely damaging Black Noir, which is why he can't talk, and they also took Soldier Boy's body away to Russia. Meanwhile, Homelander asks Starlight to add the Deep back into the Seven, but she refuses, saying she doesn't want her assaulter back in the team. Starlight then says that if Homelander goes goes through with it, she will release the video of the plane to the public. But Homelander calls her bluff, saying that if she did, he will lose everything. But once he loses everything, he has nothing to lose and will destroy every soul on earth. This is because Homelander had a massive confidence boost after that meltdown on his birthday. Adrian then finds out that Blue Hawk has been racially profiling people and only seems to attack black people. 
Butcher then tells Ryan that he can't see him anymore since he's going down a dangerous route and Ryan says that he doesn't want to lose him as well. Billy snaps saying that he doesn't want to look at Ryan after what he did to Becca and Ryan screams at Billy saying that he hates him. The Deep is then forced to eat Timothy to prove his loyalty to Homelander and Supersonic tells Starlight that he won't let her deal with Homelander alone and both the Deep and Supersonic are added to the team and Homelander announces that he and Starlight are now dating. Homelander then threatens Huey about their relationship with Starlight. Adrian talks the Vault about the whole Blue Hawk situation and then he shoots a commercial for his energy Drink. Huey and the boys then head to Russia to find the soup killing weapon. Starlight then tells Supersonic her plan in defeating Homelander. Adrian then brings up the Blue Hawk incident to the Seven and the Deep is forced to glaze Homelander causing Adrian and the Deep to fight. This then leads to Supersonic telling Adrian about the coup that Starlight plans to throw. Newman is then told by Stan to teach Homelander a lesson but instead she calls out Stan Edgar and Vought is corrupt, shocking Edgar. Stan then leaves Vought after telling Homelander that he will struggle as the new leader of Vought and if he messes up no one will be there to cover up for him. Newman then injects her daughter with Compound V. Huey has now also taken Temp V to fight the guards at the Russian facility. Billy and the boys then find the container holding the soup weapon but instead of a soup killing weapon it's Soldier Boy himself. The boys then fight Soldier Boy and he attacks them with a new power upgrade after he was tortured by the Russians. He's basically Captain America if he had got the Bucky Barnes treatment. He attacks Kimiko and she loses her regenerative abilities along with her powers. Homelander then shows Starlight the dead body of Supersonic who was killed after Adrian had whistleblown to Homelander about Starlight's coup. However if you don't want to be lasered into a pulp by Homelander then subscribing to the channel just might save you. Ashley has now been promoted to Vault CEO and Homelander leads the board meeting but is bamboozled by all of the questions. The Deep is now head of crime analytics and fires basically everyone and the boys return from Russia. Starlight then tells Huey that what happened to Supersonic was her fault and she feels terrible about it. Kamiko is in hospital and goes through a musical with Frenchie since she's happy now that she doesn't have powers and she also kisses Frenchie. Soldier Boy arrives in New York and instead of being like Captain America he then explodes. Remember Todd? Well, he's the biggest fan of Homelander and MM's daughter is watching the TV with him as they watch a Homelander rally. This enrages MM who says that he doesn't want her watching this nonsense. A-Train is then holding an event where Blue Hawk is supposed to apologize to the African American community but instead he does the opposite and causes chaos. It turns out that Soldier Boy is hunting down the old members of Payback for, well, Payback and his first stop is Crimson Countess. He then asks her why they sold him out before killing her. Billy then makes a deal with Soldier Boy and says that he wants him to add Homelander to his hit list and then Huey tells Annie the truth about Soldier Boy. It's time we head to the annual superhero event Herogasm. I won't go into much detail here as it could get this video age restricted but do watch the episode if you are interested it's very weird. MM and Starlight then head to Herogasm to find the remaining members of Payback, two twins called the TNT twins and the deep warns Homelander that Soldier Boy might go after Black Noir who is in his secret bunker dreaming about cartoons of him getting bullied by Soldier Boy and the rest of Payback. Huey, Billy and Soldier Boy then also arrive at Herogasm to assist Soldier Boy in finding the TNT twins. Kamiko and Frenchie then get kidnapped by little Nina and they break out but Kamiko Kamiko realizes that she can't protect Frenchie or the one she care about without her powers. Huey runs into A-Train who apologizes and tells him that he finally knows how Huey felt after the death of Robin. Soldier Boy then incinerates the twins whilst also killing and hurting most of the people there and Homelander arrives and is jumped by Huey, Billy and Soldier Boy and he actually almost loses for the first time and this rattles him to his core. Adrian then kills Blue Hawk before suffering a heart attack himself and Starlight exposes Vault and Homelander on a live stream and resigns from the Seven. She also says that Homelander has kidnapped Maeve and held her in prison. Ashley then denies the claims made by Starlight saying that she's trying to incite fear in the general public. Soldier Boy says that Mindstorm is his next target. Homelander visits Maeve in a prison who says that this is the best day of her life because she saw fear in Homelander's eyes. Mindstorm then traps Billy in a nightmare where he keeps seeing the day his brother died. Meanwhile Kamiko asks for Starlight's help with something. The deep then decides to bring an octopus into his marriage and Cassandra has had enough. Then Homelander drinks milk directly from the source. No, it's not what you think. Newman then walks in on him and offers him a deal and hands him a file. A-Train then wakes up from the hospital with a new heart. Good news is he can run again. Bad news is that he has the heart of his enemy Blue Hawk. It turns out that Kamiko had asked Starlight to inject her with some more compound V into her and Starlight also finds out that Temp V is lethal and it can kill you after 3-5 to five doses. Todd has taken MM's daughter to a Homelander rally and MM tries to tell Todd the truth about Homelander but he won't listen and Todd gets punched in the face. Vindication! Homelander then catches Starlight at Vought Tower and threatens to kill Huey if she doesn't retract her statement but it turns out that Homelander said this to her while she was live to her 190 million followers. Huey then teleports to Mindstorm to bring back Billy to free him from the nightmare and Soldier Boy then interrogates Mindstorm. He finds out that Vought had told Black Noir to finish him off so that they can replace him and Soldier Boy instead finishes Mindstorm off. Starlight then calls Butcher warning him about Tempfi and she tries to tell him to make Huey stop taking it. Soldier Boy then goes full Darth Vader mode and reveals that he is Homelander's father. Homelander finds Ryan 
Ryan, thanks to Newman's tip from earlier. And Ryan goes with his father after Homelander says that Ryan killing Becca was an accident and out of his control. Maeve is then teleported out of Wood Tower where she escapes. Noir returns to the tower and decides to team up with Homelander to take down Soldier Boy. Huey is then knocked out by Butcher who is trying to save Huey's life and stop him from taking more 10 feet. Maeve then arrives at the boys hideout and Huey reveals to them that Soldier Boy is Homelander's father and they don't know if Homelander and Soldier Boy will team up or not. It turns out that Homelander is having second thoughts about killing Soldier Boy since he wants that fatherly love that he's always craved for and kills Black Marl for lying to him. Maeve and the gang then arrive at Butcher's and she tells him that Homelander needs to die no matter what. Ashley, A-Train and The Deep then listen to a warning from Starlight telling them to evacuate soon but Homelander tells them to disregard it. Homelander then orders The Deep to kill the vice president candidate and tells Ashley to take off her wig. Soldier Boy then arrives and is told by Homelander that Black Noir is dead and he is also introduced to his grandson. Ryan. But instead of a happy family reunion, he calls Homelander a disgrace, enraging Homelander. Ryan then hits Soldier Boy with his laser eyes and he's about to retaliate but is stopped by Butcher who has taken some temp feet. We then see this awesome fight scene where Butcher and Homelander team up to take down Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy is almost about to kill Butcher when Starlight arrives. Huey then sees that the boys are struggling against Soldier Boy and eyes up some temp V, but he decides not to and instead increases the light in the room so that Starlight can become insanely powerful and can fly. Soldier Boy is about to explode but Maeve jumps out sacrificing herself. Ryan then leaves with Homelander and Butcher faints. Maeve has now got a memorial but she's actually alive but has no powers and she can now finally live a peaceful life with her girlfriend away from Homelander. MM then explains to Janine the truth about her grandfather and Butcher is told that he has 12 to 18 months left to live. Mallory then sees Soldier Boy getting sealed away. Ashley then deletes footage showing that Maeve is alive. Starlight officially joins the boys after throwing away his suit and on the TV they see that Newman is the new vice president candidate. Remember that deal she made with Homelander? The deal was she would give him the location of Ryan if he had killed the current vice president candidate, which the deep did. Then at the rally, Homelander introduces his son to the public, where Ryan gets assaulted by a Starlight fan. This angers Homelander and he lasers the guy's face and looks around. Everyone seems shocked but Todd starts to cheer and the entire crowd starts cheering. And Homelander realizes he can truly do anything he wants. Subscribe and comment below your favorite part of season 3.